BRAF uh, and MEK inhibition have been used or FDA approved at least or widely available since 2011, 2012 in, in, in metastatic melanoma, so stage four melanoma, you know, in multiple organs, brain, liver, lungs, etc. And what we find is that if you use a single agent BRAF inhibitor, it works well, but maybe for about seven months or so, and then on average, patient's disease will start to recur or grow very quickly, even despite taking that drug. Additionally, if you use a single agent BRAF inhibitor, it's not as well tolerated. There are a lot more skin side effects uh, that are noted if you use the one drug by itself. But if you use the two drugs together, uh, the combination works better. So instead of six or seven months of benefit, it may be closer to 10 to 11 months of benefit. And the side effects tend to be a little bit, um, it's more manageable when you use the two drugs in combination. There's a lot less severe skin issues. Um, there can be other uh, issues such as fevers and chills, which you can get more in the combination than if you use the single agent. But in general, you know, we have a lot of experience using these medications and dealing with side effects. So in general, in, in our practice, uh, in my practice, I never use a single agent BRAF inhibitor or a single agent MEK inhibitor by itself unless there's some significant uh, contraindication, some significant coexisting really medical problem that my patient has that may preclude using both drugs together. But because they're so much better tolerated and work so much better in combination, I would say probably over 97% of my patients, if I'm giving a BRAF inhibitor, then I give the combination therapy. Now these are targeted agents, and so they only work in people that have BRAF mutations in their melanoma, which is maybe 40 to 60% of patients with skin melanomas.